Hello there, this is Oscar from Mechanician. In today's session, we're gonna be digging into the off-highway license for some of the heavy construction and compact equipment. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'd like to research into a Takehuchi uh, compact track loader. As we know, these uh, special um, equipments are a little bit obscure in terms of coverage. So we might look uh, directly uh, onto the, into the engine. You know for sure we can uh, dig it not into the brand. Let's go straight to the engine axis. Uh, I know we are looking into a Kubota engine. I think it's the V3800, a diesel one. And uh, this is the system selection. These are the ECMs that we're gonna be able to read We've got after treatment system ECM, and we also got the engine management uh, control unit for the electronic common rail, okay? So uh, we can perform also uh, simultaneous system scans, and we can perform some of the special functions into the V3800. V uh, we've got the uh, AdBlue DEF injection. We've got injector coatings. Uh, we also got in the CDIS differential pressure sensor restarts, injector codes modification. Uh, we can perform manual regions on the DEF. Uh, we can also do calibrations for the PRV valves and uh, we can perform the region counter restart. Okay, so let's just go into the system selections. Um, I'd like to dive into the engine. We can connect to the electronic diesel common rail. This is the main screen. Uh, we just need to check uh, if our engine is set up with a particular filter or without particular filter. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna be choosing the particulate filter model. We can start with the fault code readings as always. We've got um, some of the fault codes related to some of uh, the faults that might be present into the engine. For the sake of the video, we can uh, just try to see the PO117. We are having a fault on the engine coolant temperature sensor. If we wanna see additional information, we are gonna check the freeze frame data, such as the date and an hour of last occurrence, warning lamps and system states. We can also pick up this step for help and components of the fault. We see the CB39 uh, component. This is the coolant temperature sensor related to the fault. We can see additional information about the component, right? Such as location, operational data, diagrams, spinouts, right? Some tables over there, some measurements for um our specific manufacturer's information. And if we wanna go further, we can access to the schematics and dive into the uh, electrical wiring diagrams for this uh, engine uh, computer. As you can see, we've got power supplies, voltages, spinouts. Uh, this is the um, CA1, the central control unit. We can double click. We can see some pictures and diagrams and pinouts. We can see operating voltages, pinouts, some of additional uh, configurations. If we wanna see a particular um, component, we can see these connections, pinout one, two. We, we've got the fuel temperature sensor, location on the engine, power supply, normal operational data and also a uh, table over there, okay? We've also got uh, system, te uh, system technical data, such as component technical data, right? We can choose and pick whatever component is of our interest. We can see maintenance data. Let's just choose the final tier four configuration for engines with particular filters. We can see general maintenance data based on operational hours of the machine, or we are just looking to uh, periodic service, okay? We've also got vehicle vessel data. 
such as license plates, guidance on series and model numbers, engine distribution. We can see some of the accessory belts, how are their co diagram configured, fuel system information, firing orders, lubrication, coolant system. Some of the technical data the mechanic team will be using in order to perform their test. And we've also got troubleshooting by symptoms, guides. When we are presenting coolant fluid in the engine oil, engine oil in the coolant fluid, excessive consumption of engine or excessive fuel consumption, we're going to be able to uh, check some of the steps we might need to look to test and do troubleshoot to these machines, such as loss of the engine power. Okay, Sorry, the computer is just bugging a little bit over there. We can go back to the diagnostics menu. Um, we can clear fault codes. We've got system data stored in the ECU, ECU reference, engine type, engine number, serial numbers, all is in there, we can perform live measurements, show off some system displays for the fuel system or the after treatment system. For the sake of the video, we're choosing after treatment system configuration. As we can see, we have the EGR valve coming to the DOC. Then it comes to a DPF. We're checking amounts collected particular suit content and live monitoring. At the same time, we're going to be receiving system alerts if we have a specific measurement that it's not in the range specified by the manufacturer. Um, sorry. Take a peek. A system display for um, fuel system now. Okay. Injected fuel amount, desired amount some gotchas, manometers down here to be able to do real-time measurements. Uh, component actuation, we can uh, actuate components such as the throttle valve actuator, heat and relay, the EGR valve to test if they are performing well. We can perform system checks, cylinder cutout tests. We can set parameters, injector coatings. We can perform um, maintenance, on the fuel injection pump. We can also perform um, force regions, particular filter regenerations, uh, counter restarts, and differential pressure resets, okay? If we go to the after treatment system, ECM, we're gonna be able to perform as well some of the special functions we saw in the previous screen. We have uh, hidden elements of the AdBlue pressure lines. We have the tank heater valve calibrations, system data. We've got system checks such as the AdBlue DEF injection, circulation test, inducement mode check, right? Component actuations, we already saw it. Setting parameters. And we can do a live data selection. We can filter out the type of sensors. In this case, we have a 30, uh, total of 35 sensors into this system. We can just check temperature and pressure sensors, add blue pressure, ambient temperature, DOC or SER sensor or intake sensor, and we can press onto these manometric gauges. So we can have live measurements. We can also run uh, time lapse to see sensor. Um, signals and we are going to be getting alerts as well okay so we have great coverage for the kubota v3800 engines and after we um, end our diagnostics process we can also have diagnostic reports we can save it into any cloud service or just export it as a pdf and we're going to be having all of the diagnostic uh, processes and data that we've got on the process okay well then thank you very much this was it for today if you ever 
want to see a specific model, please send me a message or send me um, a chat. I'll be happy to show some of the great courage we have into the gel test of highway construction license. Take care. Bye-bye.